Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. We're excited that you're here. And today we have something very, very special for you. So today we are going to talk about how God provides for us. And guess what? We have a special guest with us today. And he is actually working on something very special. Let's see if we could actually tune into him. So let's pan over to our doctor, yeah? Can you hear us, Doc? Hello. Can you hear us? Hello. Is this thing on? Is it on? It's on. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have something very important to tell you. So, I, Sir Dr. Finkelstein Jr., has figured out how to clone oneself. Are you ready? Are you ready? All I need is this. This is all I need. Just one push of a button. And just like that, an extra clone up. Uh-oh. It won't stop. It won't stop. I think there's more coming. Oh no. Uh, we, we have a problem. I cannot stop the clones. Oh no. Uh, oh, we, no. They're all coming from every direction. They're coming from everywhere. Oh man. All right, well that was a little strange, but hey, guess what? There's actually someone in the Bible that actually multiplied fish and bread, and his name, his name was Jesus. And actually, that's our Bible story for today. So, let's head on over to our Bible story right now. Stories of the Bible. Jesus feeds the 5,000. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey, everyone. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. A crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and many more women and children. Turning to Philip, he asked, Hey, Philip! Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Um... Philip replied, even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Hey, I got an idea. Then Andrew spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus said, tell everyone to sit down. Bye, everyone. Sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves gave thanks to God and gave them to the people. Here you go. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Want some more? I'm all good, thanks. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. Here you go. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves and two fish. Wow, that was amazing to see God's miracle happen. He fed 5,000 people from three loaves of bread and two fish. I think that is amazing. And you know what? The cool thing that it showed is that God provides for us. Even when it seems like there is not much, God provides. See, all they had was a little boy's lunch, and it was not much at all. And you know what? I'm sure that little boy woke up that morning and didn't think that he was going to help feed 5,000 people, but God actually helped use him to provide food for 5,000 people. That's truly amazing. And you know what? We know that God always provides, and we know that because God is powerful, and He's all-knowing, and He is great and strong. See, God created the heavens and the earth. 
He created all the stars in the sky. He created all the birds, and he created all the animals, and he created all the fish in the sea. And yet, sometimes we get scared that God won't provide for us. But here's the thing, God always provides for us. And actually, the Bible tells us that very specifically. So, before we continue, why don't we go and let's do our Bible drill segment. And we're gonna do something a little bit special this time. So get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go right now. Go get your Bibles because we are gonna start very soon. So remember, go get your Bibles because we're gonna do Bible drill right now. Bonjour, mes petites friends. Welcome. I am Tina, the talking tuna, and I am here to do a Bible drill. So, go on, put your babies on your fish sheets. It will help make sure that this is fair. So, the first verse that we have going is Matthew. 6.33 Go on, look for it. And it says, But seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. You see, God tells us that if we seek him first and follow his ways, he will provide for all that you need. Wow. I will take a short break of Bible drill to give you a fishy fact. <laughs> fishy fact number one. Fish live in salt water because if they lived in pepper water, they would sneeze. Okay, my petit ami, make sure that your Bibles are on your heads again. Remember, it is only fair. The next verse is Philippians 4.19. Go on, go on. Let us see who can find it first. Parents, make sure no one is cheating. And God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Wow. Wow. Did you guys know that God owns everything? That means that it is all his to give and his to help you. Now, fishy fact number two. Fish, do not play basketball because they are afraid of nets. Okay, okay. Mi petit ami, my little friends. Now, put your Bibles on your head. The Lord is watching. Okay, next verse. Matthew 6, 31 to 32. Find it. I will meet you very soon. Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, 
What shall I eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? Oh, for the gentle seek after these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. Well, God knows what you need, and He will provide for you. Well, my petit ami, one last fishy fact before I leave. Fishy fact number three. Crabs never share because they are shellfish, as you say. Well, it has been a wonderful time with you. Again, I am Tina the Talking Tuna. And I am here to say thank you. Thank you for participating in Bible Drill. Now, au revoir. Man, it is so awesome to see all the promises of God in the Bible about how He will provide for us. See, we can trust in God's Word because God's Word is our strength and it tells us that He is going to provide for us. And see, God might provide in a lot of different ways. See, God might give it to us directly or sometimes He'll give us the things necessary in order to do it. For example, maybe you're building a tree house, right? God can just drop the tree house in the tree, or maybe God gives you the hammer, the nail, and the wood, and maybe some instructions so that you can go out and build it yourself. Because see, sometimes God provides what we need to learn as well. And see, sometimes the things we go through, it's so that we can continue on in our path and continue learning about God and what God has for our lives. See, God is so good. And you know what? Even when we're down, even when we're having a hard time, God provides us with His love. See, God loved us so much that He gave His only Son, Jesus, who died for our sins so that we can have an everlasting relationship with Him. God is so, so good. So remember, God always provides, even when it seems like there's nothing there. And also, that sometimes God gives us the stuff that we need in order to make things happen. And always remember this, that God is powerful and we can trust in His Word and know that His promises are true and that He will always provide for us. Hallelujah, I'm excited. God is so good. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's pray and we will close out in service, all right? So, Father, we thank you for this day. We love you, Jesus. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And we thank you for everything that you're doing. So, Lord, be with us, guide us, and remind us that you always provide for us. So, Lord, we thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been so good to be here with you. We cannot wait for service to start soon. So, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. And don't forget, we do have a Zoom call at 1230 today. So, if you want to be a part of that, email me, Sway. And my email is sway at nlanj.com. All right, guys, hope to see you soon. 